What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Carmela and I am the owner and solo operator of a small online store called the Lily Creative Co. The Lily Creative Co. sells apparel, drinkware, as well as accessories like keychains and bookmarks. I might be adding stickers soon, but I'm not 100% positive on that yet. I'm just really kind of in this era of trying to figure out what I can get out of the things that I already have and I already have all the stuff that it takes to make stickers so I'm also kind of like why not and that mindset is actually kind of responsible for this video today my coffee mugs and tumblers are sublimation printed and I've been trying to come up with ways to get more out of the sublimation printer without also adding more inventory so in my research one of the things I found was basically faux DTF printing but with sublimation ink so that is what we're trying today I actually already had the design printed out. I wanted to make sure that it would even work before I really even started recording. So this is the design. I actually got this off of Etsy. It says introverted, but will, but <laughs> it says introverted, but willing to discuss social justice, which I think I thought was so cute. If this turns out well, I will put the info of the kit that I bought off of Amazon. But if it doesn't work out, then... I'm not gonna recommend it to you guys, obviously. So yeah, at this point of the video, we're not naming any names. We don't know her, we're just testing it out. So it came with these DTF film sheets and then I printed with sublimation ink and then the kit came with DTF powder that I then had to cure very precariously on my heat press back there because the heat press is a clamshell heat press. So basically I just sort of had to stand there and hold it, but you know dedication. I guess the only thing left is to test it out and see if it works and keep my fingers crossed. Already I noticed and this is something I will have to do my research on. There was some drag marks. I'll see if I can show you guys. So I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up but it's right here, right here, basically all along here. So yeah actually a decent amount of um, spots. Huh. I don't know if the camera will pick up the difference, but the colors changed immensely on this. Like, wow, the colors changed. They got so much brighter. That's very cool. Now the instructions don't say if this is a cold or a hot peel. I know DTF is usually a cool peel. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some like little purple speckles here from the powder I'm assuming. But I mean, this looks great. At this point, we'll see once I actually peel it off. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna peel it off. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not completely mad at this. This is how the sheet came off. I am not completely disappointed by what just what I just witnessed. So on this side, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but you can kind of see where some spots didn't quite take. And then I guess where I, I think part of the problem was in the curing process, but I'm not super mad at this. I'm gonna press it again with Tef. Oh, maybe that's what I should have done. I should have put a Teflon sheet on top. Duh. Oh, well, I'm gonna, well also, but I think the curing was the problem too. I'm not mad at this, honestly. Let me go do it with a Teflon sheet and see if it changes how it feels at all. Cause it kind of feels, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it. So I pressed it again with the Teflon sheet. It definitely did help with the texture a lot. It doesn't feel as like there's something on your shirt, you know? But I think it also took some of the color off. So I think I need to do a little bit of tweaking, but I'm, this, I am, I find this motivating though. This is very cool to be able to do at home. Okay, so it's a couple days later and after my whole DTF experiment, I pretty much called it a day for that day, but I'm super excited today because I got a new printer. Well, it's new to me. I bought it off of eBay, it is used. So I'm gonna plug it up in just a second and make sure that everything works. It's literally the exact same printer I already have. But the printer I already have is for sublimation. Let me put this down. The printer I already have has been converted for sublimation, so I can't use it for printing out the bookmarks and stuff like that. 
And while I do already have a printer, the quality isn't bad, but I know it can be better. And I look at my sublimation prints and like that is what I need for everything else. Especially since now I print out so much more stuff than I used to. I have to print my care cards, the backing cards, the bookmarks themselves. I do want to add some stickers. I have some really great designs. I'm like super excited about to make stickers. I'm definitely super excited about the upgrade. So let's go ahead and get her hooked up and see what's going on in there. While I'm waiting on the printer to finish cleaning, we can pack this TikTok shop order. So while I'm making these stickers and getting this TikTok shop order ready, I did want to talk a little bit more about the DTF kit and my thoughts on it and my experience with it. Basically what I ended up doing was a lot of troubleshooting, a lot of Googling and looking at videos on YouTube, trying to figure out how to get rid of the lines in my print. And essentially, long story short, I was unsuccessful. However, I would recommend the kit itself because it worked beautifully. As you guys saw in the footage, it turned out amazingly well. I think it was just an issue of my printer making those marks and I would have had to figure out how to cure it better but I think if it's something you're interested in and something that you want to try I definitely would say go for it because like I said in the footage you could see that it turned out absolutely beautifully. I would like to add if you are thinking about trying this hack on black shirts you do need to put down a layer of white vinyl first because it does not work on black shirts. Sublimation ink is essentially kind of translucent so it just really does not work on black shirts unless you put that piece of white vinyl on there. So if this is the first you're ever seeing of this hack I would definitely suggest either watching some tutorials or if you're like me and and you kind of just like, oh, I'll figure it out. Definitely put that white vinyl on there or do it on a white shirt like I did. Despite the printer issues, this hack is actually something I might try again in the future when I have a little bit more patience and I'm more in a headspace of, okay, I might have to work on this for a little while. But wasting the DTF film sheets was really bothering me and I was working on my new printer at the same time and things just weren't working out. So I got really frustrated and honestly, Honestly, just kind of gave up. So if you have a decent amount of patience, I definitely, like I said, I would definitely recommend this kit, especially if you are starting out small or you don't have a local DTF printer or someone that can print the transfers for you. I would definitely say that this is worth trying out and if you get it from Amazon you can always return it anyway so it's kind of no harm no foul. Also if you don't have a sublimation printer I do believe that there is a inkjet printer alternative version of this hack. I think the steps are a little bit different. I'm not familiar with them since I originally planned to use my sublimation printer anyway but if you don't have a sublimation printer and you have an inkjet printer and you want to try something like this as well then you can definitely look into that. I cannot offer any advice or guidance but that definitely is a thing that exists in the world. So it's the next day. I ended up having to kind of cut things short yesterday because we had a really huge storm here. From what I saw, we even had a couple tornadoes touch down. So I just left the studio and went downstairs where it's safer just in case a tornado came. But I did want to update you guys really quickly on the printer and also close this vlog out because yesterday we didn't really good ending or like anything completed. So I did run like 5 million nozzle checks and power cleans on the printer trying to get it to print correctly. I finally did get it to work, but I'm having like a kind of a strange issue because this is how the colors are printing out. I'm not sure how well they will show up on the camera, but just for reference, this is how they printed out before. I'll probably try and like insert a better clip so you guys can see, but the colors on the new printer are way different from the old one. So I'm not really sure how I want to address that. So up close, you can tell that the new printout is much more pink. It's still not quite showing up on camera how it is in real life, but you can definitely still tell a difference. I'm very much happy with how much blacker it is, how much deeper in, um, how much more solid the color is, but I'm not happy with 
how pink it is. So I might just have to like redesign the back in general. I am honestly not sure. It definitely needs some more tweaking and playing with it, but I'm just glad I got it to print <laughs> because yesterday I was definitely very scared that that wasn't going to work. So yeah, that is going to be all for this vlog. If you like this video, be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you're into that type of thing. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, you might as well. I'm just saying. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave some coffee cups down in the comments because I'm about to go downstairs and drink me some coffee right now. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye. <laughs>